Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Friday. 30 years in prison for the man behind a terror attack at a Pride festival in Norway. Two people were killed and nine badly hurt a couple of years ago in Oslo. Zani Amatapur fired 10 rounds with a machine gun and eight with a handgun outside a gay bar. The 45-year-old, who's a Norwegian citizen, is originally from Iran. This man explained to AP at the time the personal impact of the attack. I have no words, like lost friends, lost, yeah. like one friend I know has died and I have like 20 friends in the hospital. So I, I don't have any words. It's just, I don't have any words. Matapor's 30-year sentence is the longest for terrorism in Norway's history. Prosecutors said he'd sworn allegiance to the Islamic State group. Cameroon is about as anti-queer as anti-queer can be. Homosexuality gets you locked up, transitioning's illegal, and so on and so on. Imagine then how awkward it would be for the president if his daughter was in a same-sex relationship. Well, wonder no more. Brenda Beers posted a photo showing a kissing another woman. The 26-year-old says she's crazy about her and wants the world to know. Daddy Paul's been president of the African country since 1982. And a prom night for older LGBTQ plus people's taken place in Dublin. The events and their equivalents for kids leaving school are a rite of passage, but queer young people in the closet miss out. So Ireland's Beltane Festival's held a prom, letting older LGBTQ plus people experience this milestone whilst being their authentic selves. I'm Kev McGrath. See you Monday.